Okay. Reinforced concrete column, 500 by 500 mm in section, is reinforced with four steel bars of 25 mm diameter, one in each corner. Put up. The column is carrying a load of 1,000 kilonewton. Put up. Find the stresses in the concrete and steel bar. Put up. Take modulus of elasticity for steel is 210 GPA and modulus of elasticity for concrete it is 14 GPA. Okay. First of all, write down the given data for that. So, gross area it is given, AZ is equal to 500 by 500 mm. It will be 500 mm by 500 mm. It will be get 500 into 500, 500 into 500. It will be 215 to 10 to 3. 215 to 10 to 3. 250 into 10 to the power 3 mm square. Okay. Then, Area of steel it will be given AS is equal to. So there are four bars of 25 mm diameter. Four bars of 25 mm diameter. So four into four into four into five by five 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 into five into twenty-five square. Twenty-five square. Twenty-five square. Into divided by four, divided by four, divided by four. So this one it is area of steel divided by four, divided by four. It will be get four into twenty five square divided by four. So it will be one nine six three, one nine six three point, one nine six three point four nine. 49 mm square mm square okay so gross area total area is equal to gross area is is equal to area of concrete plus area of concrete plus area of steel area of concrete plus area of steel okay so here ac is equal to ac is equal to ag minus ag minus as ag minus as okay. is equal to is equal to gross area it will be for area it will be 250 into 10 raised to the power 3 minus area of steel it is 1963.49 it will be get area of concrete will be 250 into 10 raised to the power 3 minus 1963.49 it will be 248 248.0360036 into 10 to the power 3 mm square mm square okay so this one it is so now next modular modular ratio m is equal to modular ratio m is equal to modular ratio it is b it is ratio of two difference modulus of elasticity of two different material that is es by ec es by ec Modulus of elasticity of steel divided by modulus of elasticity of concrete. Okay, so it is equal to ES. It will be how much? ES it will be 210 divided by 14 divided by 14. Okay, we will put all this same unit. Okay, divided by 14. Divided by 14 so is equal to 210 divided by 14. 210 divided by 14. It will be 15. It will be 15. Okay. So next it will be next it will be strain in strain in strain in concrete or strain in steel is equal to strain in concrete. It will be same. Means change in length of to the original length in steel and change in length in concrete to the original length in concrete. It will get same value. Okay. Because of it is composite structure. Okay, so ES is equal to sigma S, sigma S, sigma S, sigma S divided by ES, divided by ES. Okay. So stress divided by ES, divided by ES, ES is equal to is equal to sigma C. 
सिग्मा सी सिग्मा सी डिवाइड बाय ई सी डिवाइड बाय ई सी ई सी तो फिर देखें तो सिग्मा एस सी डिवाइड टू सिग्मा एस सी डिवाइड टू ईएस बाय ई सी दैट इज मॉडल ऑफ रेशियो Yes, by E C. Yes, by E C. Into sigma C. Into sigma C. Into sigma C. So is equal to. So Yes, by E C. It is modular ratio will be fifteen into sigma C. Sigma C. So Yes is equal to fifteen into sigma C. Okay. Sigma C. So now next, next, P is equal to total load. P is equal to P S plus P C. P S plus P C. Okay. So now P is equal to you can write P is equal to so P S it is you know that stress is equal to P by A. Stress is equal to you know that it will be P by A. Okay. And P is equal to stress into cross sectional area. Okay. So for that here we can write down sigma sigma s sigma s into s into s plus plus sigma c sigma c into s into s. Into s, so p is equal to. You can write down here. So total load it will be given. Total load it will be given. So total load it is one thousand kilo newton. So one thousand, one thousand into ten to the power three converted it in kilo newton to newton. So sigma s it will be. Sigma s is equal to fifteen sigma. S. Fifteen into fifteen into sigma c, sigma c. Fifteen into sigma c. So as it will be no. So as is equal to that calculated as one nine six three point one nine six three point four nine. Then plus next sigma c it will be unknown. Sigma C into AC will be AC will be two forty to five hundred and two five hundred minus will be two forty eight point forty eight point zero three six zero three six into ten to the power three. And just the power C. Okay, so you do you will get sigma C from this. Okay, so sigma C is equal to you will get take one thousand into ten to the power C is equal to so plus one nine fifteen into one nine six three one nine six three. One nine three point four nine plus two forty eight point zero three six into ten to the six. In terms of sigma c, it will be get two seventy seven two seventy seven point four eight eight four eight eight into ten to the power three sigma c and the power two sigma c. It will be get sigma c value. Tracing point. So sigma c is equal to right now. Sigma c is equal to. Sigma c is equal to. Sigma c is equal to. One thousand into ten to the power three divided by two seventy seven point four eight eight into ten to the three. So it will be three point six zero mp. Mp. Okay. This is tracing point. Tracing point. 
Tracing concrete and tracing field for given height. 